The matric dance is an event we look forward to from the moment we start high school. It's a rite of passage that marks the end of our school days and most importantly, it's our moment to shine. Over the course of the series, we follow 13 very different but equally remarkable young South Africans as they prepare for the night of their lives. Zoe loves her horses and plans to be a vet one day. My name is Zoe Van Heerden. I go to Camps Bay High School and I think Camps Bay is a really great school because you get the amazing view which I don't think many schools can say they have and especially if you like boarding class and you can just gaze out and daydream of it. <laughs> Not that it's um, advisable <laughs> but yeah the teachers also have a really great vibe and it's a lot more chill than other schools. The worst part about being in matric is probably all the stress of prelims and matric dance and all the extracurricular activities all into one busy year, so it's a lot of stress. The matric dance is a kind of rites of passage moment in the lives of the pupils. When they arrive at Camps Bar High School, they're pre-teens, babies, and then through the, through the five years of high school, um, they grow up and now they're young adults, and uh, we're releasing them in six months into the world, and part of that preparation process is a moment when they have a dance with their teachers in a semi-adult setting. So yeah, I think it's a very important uh, part of their their growth experience. For the matrix, it's a it's a process. It's a, it's a moving on. It's a step beyond school, and and we want them to enjoy the moment. We've got a committee of parents with us who have helped us put the dance together. Uh, the theme we went with this year was magic, mystery, uh, illusion, entertainment and we just wanted them to have a magical, magical evening. My mom's part of the matric dance committee, although you can say I practically forced her to be on there. I like it when she's involved with the school and especially because she's got so many connections with her modelling agency and it's nice that she can bring that into stuff that we need for um, school. <laughs> I'm part of the committee. Well, I'm trying to be. It's going to be a very glamorous affair. Well, I hope it is. You know, they've all sat and they've watched the Gossip Girls and the this and the that, and this is prom night. I think that's that's what they all really, really wait for, is that just the, the ultimate. But she's very excited about her dress. We went for a dress fitting. Her dress is not done yet, because Mommy had to leave everything to, until the last minute. There's a great transition between moving from high school to out in the real world, as they call it. Uh, it's quite nerve-wracking for me, although I think I'm going to be staying home for quite a while. Uzo, we utandu kiti klasi na chomi zaki nge break. Me bugele i view ente ye camps bay. I've got a great group of friends. Um, we're all very close. Um, I'm more friends with boys in particular because, you know, there's less drama. Zoe's favourite thing to probably cook in the world is like one packet of instant noodles. But she won't stop at one packet, she'll eat like two or three. <laughs> I've got a really close friend, Erin, and she's the only really close girlfriend I've got. But it's nice to be able to share things with a girl. I mean, you can't always speak to everything with a boy. Since grade one, I've always wanted to be friends with Zoe. And over the years, we got closer and closer and closer. And Zoe's like a really, really caring person. She's always there. So if, whenever you need to talk to her, whatever time of the day or night, she will always take her time and listen to what you have to say. The reason I've got puberitin at the back of my matric jersey is because ever since I was a little girl, I loved Winnie the Pooh. I don't necessarily watch it anymore, but I just love the, the cartoon. And um, my friends have become accustomed to calling me Pooh. Zoe's sense of style for dress. Uh, I know she's wearing a long dress. She's been going on Instagram and Facebook and looking at all of the photos of like different style dresses and how the models go on the catwalk and all of that. She's she's ended it off with this really really nice dress. I'm going to save it for a surprise because I do know what it looks like. But she's going to look absolutely beautiful. I've got a lot of favourite subjects at school. At Camus Bay there's such a diverse variety of subjects that you can take. I like business and cats, not science in particular. 
I am a CAT teacher, which is computer applications technology, and Zoe is one of my students, and she's amazing. Um, I've taught her for the last three years. She is quiet and diligent and gets on with her work. She's just a pleasure to teach. My favorite teacher is my CAT teacher. She has a really great way of uh, teaching us because she's so wild and lots of fun. <laughs> She has this calm demeanor, and there's something very gracious about her. Just the way she talks and expresses herself. And there's a fun side to her as well, which is also very respectful. Um, she, she's just a beautiful character inside, and of course on the outside, but particularly on the inside. I'll definitely miss school because it's a, a big change moving and not seeing the friends that you see every single day and the routine. You know, you get up, go to school, come home, and then you have to change it completely, go to work, get a job, uh, study. Zoe has an incredible future. I can see her going places and making a difference. She's a caring individual, so she's definitely going to get involved with people, animals on her passion, horses, She's, she's going to put her love and care out there and is going to make a difference to people's lives, let alone the animals that she deals with. Yeah, that's just, she's just one of those special people. I'd like to take a gap year so that I can do a whole lot of courses for veterinary, which is what I'd really like to study. Um, but next year I'll also I'll go further in my horse riding and maybe jump to a meter or something like that and do a lot more competitions. Three weeks ago, I've got my dress design. Now all I need to do is find a dressmaker. Is it on? <laughs> uh, it's two weeks ago and I need to find a makeup artist. Uzo ingomnye wabandana abata hatu kukwabu. Ushala ya hotbake with small holding ene nkuku Amatata, Izinja, Namash. Namkelekile Kubomba se farm. My relationship with my parents is very open. We discuss almost everything all the time. I describe Zoe as being completely sensitive, um, very, very loving and caring. She goes out and does everything. Everything and for anybody. I often tell people how amazing she is at 18. And they look and they go, yeah, yeah. You know, any mother's gonna say that, but she's honestly, she's just, she's an amazing child. My mom and I have a really close relationship. Well, it's gotten closer than it has been before. We always joke around about stuff and I can speak to her about anything. She's a lot more open to the things I wanna do now. So she's been a lot more lenient lately. Zoe. For her future, at the last year, they're all excited. You know, I think they they want to do their own thing. They probably sleep late, and not you know they don't think of all the responsibilities. It's it's huge. She's very keen on veterinary. I mean, there's a lot more involved in losing any or trying to help an animal. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I mean, she's just got to. She wants to do it. We'll, you know, stand behind her and I said to her, I'm going to find her something to dissect before she starts varsity. Nanzo, okay, mama. Uzo, we can get her as into as a fagakuyo. My mom is a very emotional person. She <laughs> over exaggerates about everything and she's, I suppose she's excited that I'm growing up, but she's very sad that she's gonna, she's starting to let go and all of that. She does talk to me about everything. Um, although, again, she's, she's, she'll sort it out. She does her thing. She comes home, she does her homework. You know, I'm a working mom and I'm not here 24 7 to sit down and do the maths and science and etc. She just she does it. She gets, even though they don't even check homework half the time, but she won't take the chance. You know, she'll, also, she'll just do what she needs to do. My greatest accomplishment is probably the amount of effort I've put into horse riding. I've accomplished a lot with it in such a short period of time. I've only been riding for three years and I'm 
competing and all of it already. <laughs> so his love for animals, I think, comes from me. Because I grew up on a farm and we are a very homely, homely family. So we do, we do, we stay home a lot. Uh, we do a lot of things around the house. I used to ride as a child. And probably about two years ago, uh, I said to Zoe, I've got, I've got this bee in my bonnet, I've got a ride. So off we went to the Founder Riding Centre in Half Bay. And Zoe was quite sure. So Zoe's horse, Indian Winter, an ex race horse. Um, we got, we actually got from my neighbours, and I think that's where the bug started biting. You know, I don't. She didn't at that stage. She didn't think or know that she was going to show jump. At the moment, I compete at 80 centimeters with the horse riding. I do mostly just show jumping, but I've begun to do more disciplines like dressage and cross country and soon I'll have my first actual eventing competition in August. It's, it's incredible how she's just flown. She's a natural. You know, she should have started riding yay high. You know, it's, uh, it's, it really is incredible. Six months and she's just flying. But the bond with Indy and her, I think that's, that's a secret. Indy and I haven't been together for very long, but he's got such a a huge personality that it's very easy to love him and everyone does as well. Right now I'm just spending some time with my horse. I'm, I was quite nervous earlier and he just really relaxes me and it's nice hanging out with him. He was an ex-race horse. He won six races short distance and his dad is Western Winter which was a top race horse and yeah we've been together for about a year and we're doing very well. Horse riding is one of my favourite hobbies because it really gives you that adrenaline rush that everyone looks for. <laughs> one of the main reasons why I started horse riding is because they're such lovely animals and Indy's also got such a personality. <laughs> uh, I like the Superman symbol so much that I even shaved it on Indy with a, a stencil and some horse clippers. Wow, Yazi a funnel. Diamond and a Superman, go to low, go super horse. So there's a few things that I still need to go over before my big day on Saturday. Uh, I need to find shoes, but like the right type of shoes because I've got a slit in my dress, so you know, it needs to fit with that. Um, so I have to do one more fitting and then just fix the hem at the bottom and then I'm good to go. There's a pressure of not really wearing the correct outfit or if it's too flashy or too uh, revealing and uh, you kind of feel pressure that you're not wearing a very nice dress and everyone's going to be look nicer than you are but I don't think it's something people should worry about. I think the wo most worrying part of dance day is we can't Order weather in for as you can see today is quite stormy, rainy, and um, I mean these girls are all and the boys they're all getting dressed to the teeth. So they've all got beautiful gowns, designed boots. I mean, you know they're so excited, and if it pours down, it's a huge problem. On dance day, I'm really hoping that my heel isn't going to break. I think that's my biggest concern. I'm very comfortable walking in heels. I've got many pairs and I love walking in them. Every chance I get, I wear high heels. <laughs> the look I'm trying to go for with my dress is very plain, simple, but elegant. I didn't want it to look boring, but I'm not really into glitz and glam. I was browsing on Facebook and I found these pop-up things that kind of have different types of dresses and I, I really liked one of the designs, so I took a screenshot. <laughs> And then um, we found this designer that my mom knew from many years ago and we arranged that she would make the dress. I think on Saturday there's going to be a huge buzz trying to get your hair and makeup done in time, especially for me since I'm a bit delayed in that department, but I'm hoping it will run smoothly. Being on the dance committee has been quite a challenge. The scary side of it is that 
If things don't go according to plan, it's going to be all Zoe's and so-and-so's and so-and-so's mommy's fault. That's a problem. But if it all goes great, it's going to be absolutely awesome. Um, it's supposed to be this whole magical theme. So we're doing a lot of silvers and stars and glitters and t lights and candles. It's all about lighting and sound. And I, I've, I'm very excited about it. I'm scared though. I'm really, really scared because it just, everything's there. It's just a question of putting it together and going boom. Unga bina kala mam. Ubona kala uyaz in the enzai. It dance is o ambaga kufi. One week to go, one week to go. And I saw your fine shoes. Yimini ye dance, kwaya uzo in a chomiake u erin, by ukwenza inzi pozabo. It's a few hours before my dance, I'm feeling quite relaxed. I spend some time with my horse and I'm feeling quite chilled at the moment. I'm probably most nervous about the reaction people are gonna get to our entrance and how I look and my dress and <laughs> wash and a blow dry. The arrival is probably the most important part of the evening is it's the, the wow statement that everyone gets from you and your friends. The design of my dress is Verona Dove and I think she best embodied the idea of how I wanted my dress to be for the matric dance and I'm very excited to see everyone's reaction. For the seating... Okay. <laughs> for the seating arrangements, the teachers gave us the opportunity to decide for ourselves who we want to sit next to. And I think that's quite ideal because then at least you can speak to your friends, you don't have to make awkward conversation. I think my sister's going to look very nice and pretty and gorgeous like she always does, especially with her sparkly shoes. <laughs> the hunt for my shoes was quite a lengthy process. We went to three different shopping centers and about 15 shops later we finally found in the right size shoe and fit perfectly but it wasn't really a wow shoe which is really what I wanted but my mom kind of blinged it up a bit for me. My mom added some Diamante stickers onto the straps of my shoe. Uh, my mom's flair isn't exactly what I imagined for my perfect shoe, but I'm sure it will look really nice with the dress. For tonight, uh, my mom's arranged that Carl Isaacs will be doing my hair and makeup. Not too sure what I'm going to do with my hair yet. I was supposed to have a bit of a wave with a, a plait on the side, but my mom suggested that I should maybe do an updo, so we'll see. Carl Isaacs has a lot of experience in runways and models, so I'm sure he's going to make me look great. Well, Zoe and I had a look at a few references, and because of the colour of her eyes, I wanted to use lots of bronzes and golds, and she wanted a smoky eye, but I gave her a more modern Cara Delevingne-esque smoky eyes. What I used to create this modern smoky eye in bronzes and golds is I started first with the bronzes, and then went over that with gold and then used a plum liner to bring out the green in her eyes and smudge that in and then put a, a nice beautiful natural fake lash on and a liquid line to finish off the smoky look. And she wanted the similar kind of beachy wavy hair so we just tonged it in really big sections, put some extensions in for volume and that was it. Carl Isaacs did a wonderful job on my face and my hair and I'm so glad that we decided to go with him. I feel beautiful and I'm so glad. Tonight, Zoe's night, is probably going to be one of the biggest nights of her life besides her wedding. It's the day a girl gets to have proper makeup, proper hair, custom gown and it's especially relevant for me because I used to do Zoe's mom's face and for me to be here to make sure she's amazing for her night is very special for me. Wow. Um, when I saw Zoe tonight, gee, she was stunning. She was like amazing. Her hair, her dress was like, oh, it was beautiful. I was absolutely speechless. Like, I knew what her dress was was gonna look like but like just seeing it on her was absolutely amazing. I was blown away. She looked 
stunning. She looked incredible. She was beyond beautiful. When I saw Zoe tonight, I thought she was absolutely elegant. I mean, it actually surprised me how someone can change so much from how you see them at school to how you see them out of school. It's actually incredible. Uh, when I saw Zoe, she looked ab absolutely stunning. Uh, her hair curled, uh, the black dress, she's just absolutely amazing. When I came out and I saw everyone cheering, I felt like a princess. It was really cool and really overwhelming, but it was really nice. Well, I was there when Zoe's hair and makeup was getting done and um, it took really long, but it was like the outcome is absolutely beautiful. And she looks like a completely different person. She looks like, like a supermodel, like, you know, like an actress, you know, ready to go make a movie, you know. She looks absolutely stunning. Her makeup was done so, so precisely and she was, she was just gorgeous. Her dress was, wow. The outfits were amazing. Uh, there was a girl, Zucania, who had this beautiful red long dress and it looked absolutely beautiful. The dance is going really well. The mothers took a lot of time and effort to make it look absolutely stunning. <laughs> the decor is really, really stunning. I think they really made it look magical. I'm not entirely sure what the theme is yet, but the decorations look really nice. The night's going amazingly. I, I, like everything I could ever wish for, except maybe it's just a bit slow with the food because I'm really hungry. <laughs> I've been hungry the whole day, as always. But yeah, it's, it's going amazing and I'm like having such a great time. The starters are absolutely stunning and we have like fake champagne <laughs> and all of that. So it's really, really nice. I think so far the dance is actually going very well. We haven't had time to dance or anything yet. I think the most interesting part of the evening would probably be when we're all meant to go up to the stage and waltz in front of all the teachers. <laughs> the dance that's coming up, I'm kind of nervous because we didn't really, we had like two lessons to waltz and that was it and I haven't really practiced. I'd like to think I'm quite good at the waltz, but I mean, we'll see. I haven't quite practiced in my heels yet. I am really nervous for doing the waltz. I'm scared of st um, stepping on my dress, but anyway, it, will sh it should be fine. I think it's gonna be really funny to see everyone get out there and sort of try to waltz. Le, you sat in waltz. The waltz didn't really turn out as we expected. The dance floor was way too small and it was really cramped to try and move around, but it was still really fun. I think the matric dance was made special by all my friends. Uh, it was really nice to hang out with them and dance with them for one of the last times of the year. The matric dance was everything that I expected. It was a really nice way to end off the year before prelims and it was really nice to see everyone dressed up. So right after the waltz, there was uh, all the smoke and the curtains came up and these lights and then there was a DJ and it was really cool. And then everyone just started dancing and it was really nice. The music's been quite interesting. It's not exactly what I was expecting, but it's been vibey and it's really put everyone onto the dance floor. Apart from all the mishaps that occurred during the night, the matric dance was really amazing and I'd just like to say thank you to my fellow matrix for making it special.